Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2024. And today we are here for our Mercantile Monday to make another Mercantile block. How are you guys doing? How is everybody? Hello, Sandy. Hello, Donna Marie. The Vintage Stars fabric is amazing. I can't wait to start it. Need to get the witch finished. Vintage Stars, the um, so long that uh, we just kicked off with Beverly McCullough. Is that the one you're talking about? Isn't it so pretty? My gosh, that quilt is going to be gorgeous. I have all that fabric sitting back here. So, so pretty. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Glenda. Hello, Nancy. Happy April Fool's Day. Hello, Pam. It is. It's beautiful. That collection is gorgeous from Beverly. It's so, so pretty. How are you guys? I did not see you except for Wednesday night last week. We didn't see each other all week. So how is everybody doing? Why do I feel like I'm crooked? Am I crooked? Um... <clears throat> How is everybody doing? And how was last week without, I look straight here. How was last week with, without um, a bunch of extra live streams? How was last week for you guys? Doing great, but missed you last week. You did. Well, that's good to hear. It's good to hear. It's good to be missed instead of being like, whew, last week was fabulous with those live streams. Hello, Mary. It's rainy here, too. It just started. It's very rainy. Gloomy, rainy. Sure didn't miss your happy face. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Thank you. So what's everybody working on today? Are you plugging away on Mercantile Sampler with Lori Holt? Or are you working on something else? I am a little bit behind on my mercantile sampler. With the release of Memorial Day today, that puts me four blocks behind. But guess what? I got down here to kind of get back into my sewing mojo because last week was a little, a little wonky, a little crazy last week. So I came in here this morning there's a chance that I'll at least get, you know, I'll get this one done, which will put me only three blocks behind. I feel like I could get another one done today. So this is the one I was working on this morning, the flower pot block. And this is the next one, Crossroads, and I have it all ready to go here. So that's what I'm going to, you're going to see, ooh, do you hear the thunder? Ooh. You're going to see me finish this one up quick to, today. And then I'm going to start on the other one. So, and, and the equipment is working again, which, whew. Ah, Sandy, looks like it might be the beautiful quilt hanging on the wall. Does it, is it crooked? Why? How, how, how can that be? It's very strange. I don't know what it is, but that's never happened before. But it does seem crooked, doesn't it? Um, Sandy's working on retreat stuff. How exciting. Martha, hello. I will be sewing with you, Angela. It's different without you during the week. But family is number one. Thank you. I, you know, I'm bummed because I didn't have as much family time as I had wanted. So, uh that was the intent was to not do the live streams last week, last week in favor of family time because my kids were on spring break, but, uh, um, our shipper was out on vacation with her family. So I was in shipping in the morning and, uh, it ended up being a really crazy week. <laughs> Just personally ended up being a crazy week. It didn't, um, not even work-wise. I mean, work was crazy, but then personally ended up some stuff were, was popping up last week as well. So we did not get 
a lot of family time throughout the whole week. So then come Friday, I was pretty bummed by Friday because spring break was wrapping up and <clears throat> I, I felt like I was working, 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 and we did not get a lot of family time in. And I felt like, you know, we had missed our opportunity with spring break wrapping up. So I was pretty bummed out Friday. <laughs> And then I uh, got done shipping in the morning, and then we we ended up trying to squeeze in some family time over the weekend. So we did go to the zoo, um, usually at the beginning of like a break that my kids have from school. We go through, and everybody makes a list, like two, one or two things that they want to try to do over break. So everybody had their list of like, I want to go get ice cream. I'd like to go out to eat once. Can you know, like simple stuff, like nothing like crazy. My little one, one, one of her requests was to go to the zoo. So Friday, <clears throat> Friday afternoon, we went to the zoo and we went out for ice cream. Um, and then squeezed some, a little bit of family time in again on uh, Saturday. My husband took the older five kids to a movie and uh, I was going to go with them. And my sister was going to watch the little one, but the little one said, no, I want mommy time. And so needed to do that. So I hung out with her and we had some mommy time, mommy little one time, and uh, the other ones all went to see movie. So not as much family time as I had hoped, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, hello, Renee. Hello, Lisa. Thank you so much. Hi, Kim. I'm four blocks behind too, so it can't get to catch up with you today. Yay! Are you at home today? Do you have to stay off after Easter, probably? Um, Angela, I was five blocks behind. I caught up in no time, so you will be able to catch up soon. That's the nice thing. Like, I'm not freaked out about being four blocks behind because these go pretty quickly. Like, if I can set aside the time, I know that I could easily do two blocks comfortably, two blocks in a day, and be caught up in a couple days. I'm working on customers binding and getting ready to quilt it. Nice. Glenda, I'm finally able to cut mark and tell and start the blocks. The last few months have been crazy and life is getting back to normal. Yay. Carolyn, I was in the same boat, three blocks behind, got caught up yesterday. I feel so much better. Thanks for my box of goodies. I got just 30 minutes ago. Happy mail. Hello, Louise. Happy Monday to you. Um... Um, hi, Georgia. Hello, Betsy. Planting a ton of flowers and herbs on my patio. How nice. Spring break this week. Oh, that'll be so nice. <laughs> Betsy, you'll catch up in no time. You could be caught up in a week. It's so true, Sandy. Yes, so nice. Hello, Deborah. Hello, hello. Okay. I'm a little warm. My goodness. Okay, so I'm going to add, uh, I don't want to take this off. I'm going to add my borders to this one. So I have to add my borders here and here. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and do that quick. So then I can turn it into the circle. I just have the borders to add to this one. And guess what, you guys? I have a surprise. I can't even see what you guys can see, but you're here with me over at the sewing machine. You guys will have to tell me how, um, how it looks. And I can't read anything you're writing until I get back to the other camera, but I'm not over here by myself. Oh, 
driving me crazy. It always pops out. It's been popping out all morning. that one. I got the other side. How was it? How was the new camera? Oh, I can't see. What does it say? Oh. Awesome. Yay. Fantastic. How exciting. Sewing machine view. Yay. How cool. It is so awesome. It looks great, Angela. Yay. Looks perfect. Awesome. Cool beans. Woohoo. How exciting. The angle is perfect. Is it? That's good to hear. Oh, Henry, I love these patterns. I'm definitely going to make them probably combine into one quilt. I love it. Woohoo, says Mary. Betsy, okay, I need to clean up and open the mountain of mail. <laughs> Just dropped off. See your tree people tonight in a few weeks. Happy stitching. Happy stitching, Betsy. Love it. Overhead camera. I'm screaming this to you. Yay, love it. North Central Florida here. Hello, Sandra. It's a beautiful day in our neighborhood. That is so good. Jill, love the new camera. Ooh, the new camera angle is fabulous. Yeah, Angela, I'm sure you're so happy with the progress of the lives. So happy. So thank you guys so, so much for your super chats, which contributed to that. Love it. It's totally awesome. Love seeing you so. Yay. You need to say hi to Henry. <laughs> I'll talk to you here, Ram. Oh, Henry. What do you want, puppy? What? Come here. Come here. Come on. I want to say hello. There's Henry. 
Are you scratching at the door? Are you a little anxious because we're having a little storm? Did you hear the thunder? Henry doesn't like storms. They make him nervous. They make him nervous. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. Um, Henry, hi, Henry. <laughs> He's a little sticker, that one. Henry is so handsome. It has been a while. I've not shared, I've not had Henry on here in a long time. Henry is a sheep who, so he's he's a poodle and and Shih Tzu mix. So he's a sheep who. Hi. You gonna hang out with me? So are, I'm so excited. You guys are liking the camera. I'm. I you don't mind um, watching me so because. It's kind of scary. I'll be honest with you. It's a little bit scary. Um, sewing live. Like I've been a little bit bummed out because sometimes my stuff hasn't been coming together like it normally does. And I'm like, what is the problem I'm having like a sewing issue? Um, but it can be kind of intimidating to sew on camera. <laughs> like I'm not, I've always claimed that I am not a um, I'm not an expert sewist. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imag imagination. Um, what does that go across? I would like to know. Um, so it, it, it's a little bit intimidating to to sew. Try to line it up with that. To sew on camera. And then when you're feeling a little bit like you're not at your best sewing mojo, then it's even harder. And I didn't, I couldn't see that. It was my husband who told me, I said, gosh, what's my problem? Like these blocks are not going together. I think for a few times, so someone had mentioned on a made a comment on a thing that that I should consider starching for better accuracy. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even starch when I cut like some of the hometown quilt seeds blocks that I've been putting together. I've not been starching because I've been in a hurry. And so when I'm prepping it, I'm just like super fast cutting and, and making this stuff up and I haven't been starching. So that could very well be, I don't starch a lot anyway, but so I was kind of saying to my husband, maybe I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> he was like, I think you need to give yourself a break. It's probably really hard to try to do that stuff live on camera and, um, you know, be worried about messing something up. So now I can go over and I can sew around here. I'm going to see what you guys are seeing. So precious. Sewing and watching sewing is so peaceful. Oh, good. It's like meditation. Louise, it lets us know you are human. Oh, thank you. I am very human. Aloha. Aloha, Laurel. None of us are professionals. It's just a hobby. So true. Angela, your blocks always look great. Mine, I'm still trying to figure it all out. I really don't know how my quilts are coming together. Yours look great too. So I think, you know, encouragement is also the name of the game, right? It's all a process, I think. I think it's all a process. I love seeing real life sewing and not all perfect stuff, if that makes sense. Yes, it does make sense. Your blocks are looking great to me. Thank you, Laurel. You you like you like real life stowing, Sharon. Oh, Susan, do you normally starch before or after you cut your pieces before? So, like for mercantile, I starched everything when I was going through and cutting everything up. So I take the piece out of my kit. So if it's like a fat eight, they take the fat eight, they take it over, spray it with starch and water, iron it, and then bring it back here to cut it. So I do the starching before I cut. Um, but 
for for the, these, I have been not starching because of being in a hurry. So, and I kind of didn't realize it until somebody said that. And I was like, oh, I haven't been starching those because the last few that I've done, I have been coming home from the shop and I want to quick get ready for Whip Wednesday. And so I quick cut up the pieces and sometimes quit like trying to be hasty and sewing does not, they don't, they don't mix. They don't go together. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to try to sew this little cutie. I'm running, <laughs> I'm running out of space over here. Okay. And boy, it is warm in here today. sleeve got caught on the pin. It's really weird to not be able to see what you guys are seeing while I'm sewing. So your feedback is super helpful. Okay, it's got to happen. Sorry. Too hot. Too warm today. I've been starching after I cut with the witch and works fine for me. I don't drench them, just a quick spritz. Oh my gosh, so true. Never let a sewing machine know you are in a hurry or a rotary cutter. How was everybody else's Easter? Did everybody have a nice Easter weekend? I think I'm I'm a little bit in a funky headspace right now. And just so much going on. Like there's just a lot of going on. A lot going on with the kids, a lot going on with our family. A crazy amount of stuff going on with the shop. And um why why am I why are you guys looking at me? You should be looking at what I'm doing. Um and so my, I'm in a little bit of a funky space right now. <clears throat> Retreat stuff is kind of stressing me a little bit. Um, and so it's been really nice 
to be back down here sewing again. It's amazing how, and it's not like I have, you know, it's not like it's been a while since I've been down here. I'm down here pretty re regularly, but it's amazing how when you are kind of in a weird spot, how helpful it is to have this time to kind of zone out, meditate to the sound of the machine, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but have that time. I hope you guys, I had so much fun with the new release party with Lori last week. I wish my setup would have been working better. I was very frustrated about that, but it's always fun to get together with Lori and be able to chat and hear about her new collections. So that was fun last week. I hope you guys had fun with it too. Okay, now I can go, oh, I can go iron this quick. Okay, now I have this. Okay. I'm going to go applicate this. Never gets great set up with the Juki. Thank you, Laurel. I love the Juki. Looking forward to sewing with my singer, though. Easter was very relaxing. Oh, that's good. Hello, Tammy S. Sharon had a wonderful time with our grandsons. Oh, that's good. It is in the basement. Yes, Sharon. It sure is. Is it straight? Let me zoom this out of tish. It's kind of tight. Is it straight? A sewing saying goes, as you sow, so shall ye reap. I think this applies to all sewing, learning, happenings, mistakes at all stages of life. It's so true. It's so true. So I think it's straight. Does it look straight? I did the measuring. Okay. Oh, I gotta glue it first. What in the world? <laughs> I, was, I was like, how? I can't take it off of here. Is any glue coming out? Did any come out up here? No. No. 
Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a hot minute. And I'm going to pull this one in and get ready. This last, when I pulled out the one that I just did, the flower pot block, I was missing a couple of squares. So like this one, I, it looks like I'm missing, oh, here they are. I was like, where's the red? D, F. I'm gonna iron this background quick. supposed to do with this one. I'm also curious. Oh, what are people saying? I think Georgia. Rip, not rip. Yeah, <laughs> she, she could have looked straight and beautiful. Oh, good. My studio was in the basement at our last house. Now it is over the garage off the primary bedroom, it's nice to have a designated space to craft. It sure does. Yes, it's so, so nice. Because that hasn't always been the case. For the longest time, it was in my dining room, partially in my kitchen. Um, my dining, not even, yeah, in my kitchen for the longest time. That's probably where I had it the longest. It's very nice to have a room dedicated to that. I had the seam ripper on fire with the basket block. I don't know what in the world I was doing. So it's not just me. It happens to other people too. My gosh. That seam ripper comes out. I think, go away. Stay away. Um. Okay. Let me see. I'm looking for the crossroads block. Here it is. Who's done this one? And was it super fast and easy to do? To make eight half square triangles with the C and the A. Half square triangles with C and the A. Gonna mark some double lines here on the back of the A squares. What I am curious about is what Easter tra traditions what just happened? Or is everybody still? My screen totally went blank. Are we still alive? Is everybody still here? Crossroads wasn't too bad. A lot of squaring up, which takes a little time. Okay. That was really strange. Like all of a sudden, all of a sudden my screen just went, it went elsewhere. It was not here. Okay, so my question is, what kind of Easter tra traditions do, do you have that are your favorites? And did you, were you able to do them this weekend? Thank <laughs> you. 
from sitting here sewing napkins and thinking about how much I enjoy sewing with you. Louise! Oh, thank you so much for doing this every week. It means so much. Did I tell you that I'm in a funky headspace this week? That's enough to make me cry, Louise. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Because sometimes I don't. I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm not fabulous, you know, at the sewing stuff. I mean, I'm decent. I'm not saying I'm horrible. But I'm, I'm not perfect, that's for sure. So sometimes I second guess what I'm doing here. So I really appreciate you saying that. That's really nice of you. It goes a long way for my self-confidence. So thank you. Thank you, Louise. Okay, I'm going to sew these little cuties together. I'll take that up. My little one loves these, um, these So Handy stickers. They sure are super handy, but she loves them because she, because she can spell stuff out with them. It's so nice to be able to have you guys over here at the sewing machine with me. I wish I could read, you know, if anybody's saying anything, but baby steps, little by little. Okay. S Louise, thank you so much <laughs> for the super chat with the cheerleader. You are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Laurel in Australia, everyone has four days, public holidays, Good Friday to Easter Monday. Lots of people go camping. Ooh, that's nice. That sounds enjoyable. Um, I'd like to have the weather to go camping right now. Susan, because this past year was not so normal, my husband wanted a traditional Easter dinner with a traditional family gathering. He got both. That is good. Yay. Yay for you guys. I hope you had a really, really fabulous Easter, Susan, after a not so normal year. Okay, now let me make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, shoo, I cut them right. Cut them apart. Trim it with the. Okay, let me get my two and a quarter ruler 
and we're going to trim these puppies up. See if I can keep it out there for you guys to see. This is kind of an enjoyable part for me. Trimming up these cute little blocks. I like this method that Lori does. Ooh. Oh, I hate it when that happens. So, and I hate it when that happens. These cute little trimmer rulers are fabulous, and this little mat is fabulous. And this method is so nice for those of us who are not perfect with cutting and piecing and all of that. It's forgiving. The best way to be. that sandy that ruler is so cute <laughs> Such a dark, i know this little cute little thing i know i think i just got the corner of it a tish I sure did i really like that me too i love that method it's so um handy and forgiving all right i'm gonna press these open for step one of the crossroads block I have to pull oh, stickers down there. I have to say visually, this crossroads block might be one of my favorites.
this. This thing does not want to come apart. It does not want to be pressed open. Three more to go. All right, so there are those all done. Because <laughs> we're all in agreement that 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 um that it's so cute. Press the seams open. Now add B and D and sew them together. Okay. So we have all of these. I'm get them going all the right way. Three, four. These are supposed to be up here. Two, three, four. These are supposed to be down here. Like so. We're gonna add the B up here. And then T down here. And now we're going to make four of those. All right. Let's see. Let me do it. These open quick.
Okay, there it goes. Okay, there are those. I'm going to take a quick peek here. So I'm sure that I'm putting them together the right way. Yep. open. How are we doing? What did I miss? I used to have a cat that would lay on top of my sewing cabinet and sweat <laughs> at any of the threads, if not at my hands. Oh my gosh. How did you get any sewing done, Georgia? Oh. Hello, Valeria. 
Valeria, thank you so much for the super chat. What do you think of the camera, Valeria? Do you like the sewing machine camera? I have to pin my intersections or they don't come true. Sometimes mine don't either. These turned out okay. These did all right. Let's move the tish off. Ooh, that one was a little bit off too, but not terrible. Hello, Amy. What is the lower attached to your sewing machine bed? The flower? The flower. It's a seam so easy guide. So let me show you. Maybe, maybe I can show you. So it's a quarter inch guide. So if you're doing like um, half square triangles, you can line up you know, your point. On here, you can line up your point here and guide it through like that to sew a diagonal. Um, otherwise, if I'm just sewing a great a quarter inch, then I use this line. So I line it up with my needle so that my quarter inch is this guide. And I Use some washi tape and I tape it on there. So it's called a Seams So Easy Guide. Seams, S E A M S, Seams So Easy. Love the new camera. Yay, Sheila. Love it, Valeria. Yay. Do you have any of Lori's? Beesney's book stands. I have two back here. I don't have any in the shop anymore. I think they're getting close to maybe being gone. And then maybe there will be a new color. If you're interested in one, I can see if we can, if there are any more available, just let me know because I can check that out. Okay. While you're letting me know about that, my scrap and mama, I am going to see if any of these need to be trimmed up with the four inch. Sounds good. And I will look into it. Sounds good. I don't think, look, I mean, that's just teeny tiny, a teeny tiny bit there. Off just a tish, but get out of the way. And one more, we'll just see if there are any teeny tiny amounts. That's really it. And I'm gonna scoop all these off into here and throw that away. Okay, now we have these. Am I ready to lay this out yet? Okay, I am. Ooh, now comes for the fun part. We have them in the shop, Amy. They come in different colors even. Jade, something else, denim. Can't remember all the colors, but if you search for seems so easy at happylittlestitchshop.com, um, it should pop up for you. Look, this one is gonna be so pretty. Oh, I love all, all the colors in here. I'm gonna fully use this design board. 
even the edges. All right, let's sew this puppy together. Oh, this one is so pretty. Let's see if I can sew it together and not mess it up. I go ahead and sew this to the top one. straight. Okay, let's try this again. Make sure my seam is still lining up. Thank mm -hmm. 
Not a good. I'm going to take that apart first and just sew these together. Okay, so I'm not happy with this theme, so I'm going to rip this out. I wish this seemed so easy. Came in yellow. That would be great on my black featherweight. Oh, but red works too. Don't forget to give yeah, Angela a thumbs up. Thank you, Sandy. What is the smallest square up ruler that Lori has invented? I think the two and the quarter. I think the two and a quarter. The smallest I have is two and a half. I absolutely love them and did not know I was missing until I got my first one, right? Me too. Yeah, I think two and a quarter. Sandy, I think you're right. That one is the smallest now. So see, this is off. This is off. So I'm gonna fix this. I don't want my center pretty blue to be off. So I'm gonna, ooh, we're over time. Sorry, I was having so much fun sewing with you guys. So I'm gonna fix this and I'll share a picture of um, the two blocks that I've done today, the flower pot block, and then I'm gonna finish this one up because I'm almost done with the crossroads block. And I will share pictures to Instagram and our Happy Little Stitchers Facebook group and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'll be back with you for uh, Whip Wednesday this Wednesday. I will be working on my next hometown um, neighborhood block. I think I'm on, I can't remember which one I'm on. Maybe block six, six or seven, something like that. So I will get that ready to be working with you um, on Wednesday for Whip Wednesday. Tonight, don't forget if you're part of, or if you're coming to our retreat this year, we have our meeting tonight, our live meeting tonight. And don't forget that on Thursday, we will be back for our regular every Thursday live stream, our quilting and cross stitch live stream this Thursday. So don't forget about that. So please join me for all of the fun things this week. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know, Jack the Ripper, darn it. Darn that guy. He did come to class, even though he wasn't invited. When can I find the new Laura Crochet Bag Tracer? It's on the website right now. So if you search for Crochet Bag Panel, they should pop up. The one that's out there already should pop up and then there should be a reservation for the new one. And that new one is coming. When is it coming? J 
June. The new one's coming in June, but the reservation's on the website right now. So you can reserve it if you, if you want it. But it won't be here till June to ship. Um, we've gotten so much done. I'm barely done with the basketball. Thank you. Are you sewing right now? Well, I got a head start because I worked on the basket block this morning. Have a wonderful day. See you Wednesday. Yes. So I will see all of you Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, thank you so much for being here and uh, for hanging out with me and sewing with me today. We'll see you again for Whip Wednesday. Everybody have a great Monday and a great week. Happy stitching, everybody. Take care.